Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to unbox this new Bell Pit Boss helmet that I picked up and also demonstrate to you how to install the Cardo half helmet clamp kits inside of a half helmet. So stay tuned to this video and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to get these Cardo half helmet clamp kits installed inside of a new Bell Pit Boss half helmet. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the Bell Pit Boss half helmet. We're gonna move these to the side and I wanna get this opened up. And this is gonna be a easy, it's gonna be a pretty easy install. And this is the, the Pit Boss helmet. Set that to the side. We're gonna get this thing opened up. I will include in the description of the video a link to where you guys can pick up everything that I'm using here in this video. So always use a helmet pad or helmet donut so you don't scratch the helmet when you are installing a clamp kit. So we're going to just lay that right on the padding. We'll just set that to the side. Not sure what that goes to. Um, here's some packaging on the helmet. We'll get this opened up. Came with a bell sticker and also it came with a helmet instruction manual and it just tells you about the product gives you an introduction and give you some some do's and don'ts so we're not going to need this Set that to the side. Now, one of the things that I like about this Bell Pit Boss helmet is that it already has ear pockets. So anytime you're going to install a half helmet kit, you're gonna have to pick up ear pockets to place your speakers. Well, the thing I like about this Bell Pit Boss helmet is that it has ear pockets already on the helmet. So no need to go out and pick up ear pockets. It already came already on the helmet. So this is going to be a very easy install. Now, if you look at this helmet, you can't really tell that ear pockets are on here, but they have a little spot that you can fit the speakers right down in that little pouch. So you can go with the 40 millimeter speakers that come with the, the clamp kit, or you can actually upgrade to the 45 millimeter speakers. And I will include a link in the description of this video of where you can pick up the 45 millimeter speakers if you wanna go with bigger speakers. But the clamp kit comes with 40. Same on the other side. It's got a cutout, like a Velcro pouch where you can stick the speakers right in that pocket. Also, another thing I like about this helmet is that you can take this neck curtain off if you wanted to just take it off.
it comes right off. So if I move this helmet out of the way, this is the neck curtain. So inside of the neck curtain, you have these little pockets. And this is where we're gonna place the speakers. One on each side. And another thing about this helmet that I really like is the drop down, the inner drop down shield. And with this helmet, one of the questions that I've received was, could you put on shades with this helmet? Yes, you can actually put on shades and uh, lower the drop down shield. It's not gonna get in the way. So if you wear glasses or if you wanna put on shades, you can actually put those on when you wear this helmet. So very easy. And it also has an adjustment on the, on the back. So you roll this little, You got a little spot here that you roll and it lets the adjustment out. So roll it out or roll it in and that tightens the helmet around the head for a proper fit. So this is going to be really easy and we're going to go ahead and get the Cardo half helmet clamp kits opened up. We're gonna set this to the side for now. If you're gonna do a half helmet uh, Cardo clamp kit, you're gonna need, you're gonna need two boxes. Now, the first box is just the half helmet kit. And then you're gonna need the, the second helmet kit. So everything is not included in one box. You're gonna have to get both of these boxes to do one helmet. Now, you, you don't have to use everything that's in this box, but you do have to have both of these boxes, the half helmet kit, and you have to have the second helmet kit. The second helmet kit comes with the speakers in the, uh, the mount. The half helmet kit only comes with the part that's gonna stick to the side of the helmet. So let's get this opened up and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. So we're not gonna use everything that's in this kit. Only the things that we need to get this thing installed. Comes with some paperwork. And it tells you, just gives you some literature about wire management. We don't need that. We're gonna open up this half helmet kit Comes with literature that we're not going to use. And we're gonna just dump all of this out on the table. Gonna set that to the side. And we have, we have some Velcro for the ear pockets and we're not gonna use these. Remember, everything that's in the kit, we're not going to use. We have the air mount. We're gonna use the air mount. We're gonna use the speakers. We're gonna use the part that sticks on to the helmet. So we're not gonna need that. We're not gonna need the clamp and we're not gonna need the microphone. So remember, everything that came in the boxes, we're not gonna use, but you need both boxes to make the install. So the only thing we're gonna use is the part that sticks to the helmet with the microphone. We're gonna use the speakers and we're gonna use the air mount and the alcohol pads. So how this is gonna work, very simple. So the air pockets, we'll do this last. We'll do that last. Now, let's take the helmet and this thing is gonna mount on the left side. So, we're gonna take our alcohol pad 
and we're going to clean the side of the helmet. We're going to use the sticky mount. Now you can actually use the clamp, but on a half helmet, it is best to just use the stick mount. So make sure you wipe it real good. And we're going to just let that dry for just a second. While that's drying, one of my tricks that I like to do when I do an install, I like to heat up the area that I'm going to apply the stick mount. So I'm going to take my heat gun and put the heat gun on low. And I'm just going to make a few passes on the side of the helmet. I want to just get the helmet up to temperature. I don't want to melt the plastic or anything. I just want to warm it up just a little bit. So when I apply the adhesive, it'll be a good bond to the side of the helmet. So now I've applied my heat. I'm going to take my microphone that has the peel and stick on the back side. I'm going to peel. Being careful not to touch it. And we're going to place right over the ears. And I want to make sure that it, it lays flat onto the helmet before I make my final press. So you want to do a dry fit and just make sure, make sure that the mount is going to lay flat. And you want to hold that down for about a minute. Once you get that laid down for about a minute, we're going to take the, the air mount and we're going to slide it onto the side of the helmet. You're going to hear it snap in. That lets you know you're in. So the next thing we need to do is run the wiring. So in order to run the wiring, I'm going to make a small little cut inside of the zipper right above that zipper. I'm going to make a small little cut so I can place the wires through this zipper area. So I'm going to take my little scalpel and I'm just going to make a little incision right on the side, right in between the V. Being careful, I don't want to cut anything. Just make that hole just big enough to run my wiring. And that cut is probably maybe a half of an inch, if that long. So next, I could take my wiring. And I'm going to run the wires through the little incision that I just made. Push them through. I don't want to make the hole too big. Pull that on through. Next, I'm going to take the third wire and push it through. Now all of the wires are through that incision. Next, I can plug in my, I can plug in the microphone, plug that in. Plug in my microphone and we'll do the, the wire management last. And now I have a spot here for the speakers. So what we're going to do when you look at the speakers, you have a speaker on a long wire and a speaker on a short wire. The long wire goes on the opposite end of the mount. So the long wire goes on the right, the short wire goes on the left.
So we're going to pretend that the neck curtain is on the helmet. We're going to put the longest wire at the farthest point. So we're going to put the longest wire going to sit inside this pocket so I'm going to open up this pocket and push in my speaker okay I'm gonna do the same for the right side the short wire goes on the side closest to the mount I'm going to place my speaker. You can do this on the helmet or off the helmet. I'm just doing this off the helmet just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now I can take my neck curtain. And I'm going to connect it back to the zipper. Now I'm going to zip this thing all the way around. Being careful not to pinch the wires. I'm going to take my snaps, snap them back into the, the sides. The speakers are mounted. Now all I have to do now is plug in the speakers. Speakers are plugged in. And so the trick is putting the wires tucked in the corner where they're out of the way. So to do this, I'm going to take a little bit of Velcro. So one of the things that I've done is I've taken the speakers back out and I removed these little cushions that are inside of the ear pockets. So the way that I find it best to run these speakers we're going to go with the longest wire at the farthest point from the side of the mount. The shortest wire is going to be closer to the to the air mount. So the best way that I find to do this is we're going to just tuck this wire right behind the neck curtain. Just tuck it right in behind the neck curtain. And then we're going to place that speaker down inside of the pocket. And you may have to move the speaker around to find the best placement, but we're going to just run that wire right behind the adjuster on the neck curtain. Just run it right in the back of that seam. The wire will be out of the way. We're going to take the short, the wire with the shortest speaker, put it close to the mount make sure that the speaker is toward the ear so I'm gonna just reach in and place this thing there we go and now we have the long wire running behind in the crease the last thing we need to do going to plug up the speaker and now for the wire management we're going to take this wire and we're going to make a fold I don't want to make a, a heavy crease but just a small fold we're going to take the double sided and we're going to loop it around loop it around Okay, next what we're going to do is take the part that sticks to the inside of the helmet. And we're going to put it right in that crease. Just stick it in that crease. Tuck right out of the way. Just like that. Pull any loose wires. Make sure you tuck those in good. We 
we want that to look professional. Okay. Next, we can take our cardo, snap it onto the side. And now the wires are out of the way. You can't see them. Now, the last thing that you might have to do is move the speakers. If the speakers are not right on your ears in the perfect position, you need to move them. You may have to move them up, down, right, or left. So there's the drop down. You want to turn on the unit. Take your mic and get that adjusted. Hey, Cardo, battery status. Battery status, full. And you, that's all you have to do. You want to get that helmet adjusted. Roll the adjustments in the rear to the proper size. And now you can strap that helmet on. Snap it over. Very easy, very simple. Just like so. Just that easy. Uh, one last thing that I want to mention is that on the microphones you have an arrow you want to make sure that the arrow is on the opposite side of your your mouth so most people will take that arrow and flip it over but you want the arrow to the outside the arrow is just the indicator to show you where the mic is placed so if you have any questions or any comments feel free to put them down in the comment section below if you like this video be sure to click the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you a little bit later out here in the Caliente Garage.